So a double integral in application can also be used to find the volume of solid of or the volume of a solid region. So hindi pa tayo tapos sa ating mga solid solid na to. Pabalikan ulit natin ito using double integrals naman. So ito um ito lang yung property, same lang din yung concept. Basta given na kayo ng uh, gantong equation. So for example, you have a region on the xy plane and then meron kayong z output that is xy squared minus ln of x plus e raised to negative y. So usually kung ano yung expression dito ng ating um, z which is of course in terms of x and y. So yun lang yung variables mo, dy and then dx. So we need to find the volume of the solid above the region, uh, the plane region under the curve x equal to and then x equal to 5. So trace from the line, so you can see the line. So kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa ating expression, wala tayong uh, z. Kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong z. Kasi yung ating output ng expression is expressed in terms of z. So parang ito, this expression is, is equal to z. So any combination mode that you'll be doing would be something like the function f x y dx dy and then evaluate it. Kung ito dx, so you have to make sure that this is in terms of y. So f of y1, f of y2, and then this one is in terms of um, y sub 1 is equal to value. y sub 2 is equal to that value. So ganun lang ang construction ng ating um, volume. So, for example, this one. You start with the equation, so you write the equation, xy squared minus ln of x plus e raised to negative y. And sabi dito, tinrace siya sa curve na 2 to 5, pero you have to make sure na yun na yung last mong gagamitin. So, therefore, parang siya yung pinakalabas, 2 to 5. And then, di ba, ito yung pinakalabas mo na uh, portion ng ating integration. So, therefore, yun yung last dx. So, therefore, yung loob natin would be any value na in terms of y. So therefore, if this is y, so you have to make sure na this is in terms of um, y is equal to f of x. So from that, this becomes 3 minus 2x. Okay? And then yung isa is y is equal to 3x plus 3 divided by 2. So therefore, the limits would be 3 minus 2x and then 3x plus 3 over 2. And then this becomes, ano ba yung una natin? That is dy and then finally dx. So this is the construction of this um, volume and then just integrate in that case. Question, are you allowed to use a calculator for this? So, actually, pwede allowed ko na yan kasi uh, literally itong portion na to, hindi mo naman kaya i-calculate yan eh. Yung unang integration kasi may variables pa yan. Pero syempre, after doing that, kung nagawa mo na, pwede na kayo mag-direct integration dito sa part na to pag na-integrate na. Pero sabi ko nga sa elementary, non-elementary integration kanina. So, hindi yun allowed. Okay, so yun lang yun for the volume. So hopefully, ay, ay nag-gets yung concept. Actually, walang pinakaiba dito sa nauna eh. Pares lang din yung concept niya. Basta the construction of of the equation is just up to you. So pa kung paano nyo siya i-evaluate. The truth is, kahit mabaliktad to, okay lang yan. For example, nauna nyo is yung, so sinulan yung equation. And then gusto nyo unahin ay dx. So the truth is, pwede yan. So, you have to make sure na itong dx mo is in terms naman of y. So, therefore, kung y to we have uh, 3 minus y, 3 minus y over 2. So, ito, 3 minus y over 2. And then, this one, kung um, in terms of y siya, so it becomes um, positive 3 minus 2y over negative 3. So, this would be your values. And then, of course, kung dy to this should be numerical values of y. So, paano ba natin yung kukuhanin? So, kung numerical values of y to and then, ano ba yung, ano, yung values nito. So, diba, x is equal to 2 and then x is equal to 5. So, you have to determine the values of 2 and 5 in terms of y by setting z is equal to 0. So, for example, meron kang 2 dito. So, we have 2 and then y squared minus ln of 2 plus e raised to negative 2 is equal to 0. So, you determine, um, ay hindi pala, y pala to. Okay. So, you determine the value of y from this expression. So, you should be getting y sub 1 and then y sub 2. Pag yung x mo naman is equal to 5. So, ito is another uh, method kapag naiba yung order mo. Pero syempre, this, is what, this one is not recommended. Kasi, una sa lahat, baka magkaroon pa kayo ng error when it comes to the substitution of this value to the, ano, to the original equation. Kasi, what if you have two values for that? So, probably, you might be thinking na there are two volumes uh, included in this expression kasi magkakaroon kayo ng two values. So, you have to make sure na kung ano na lang yung given, eh, yun na yung gamitin nyo kasi that is um, the easier path. Pero kung nakita nyo man na mas madaling other way, then that is um, 
possible pa rin na pwede gamitin. So, by the way, uh, this is applicable na pwede natin pagpalitin kasi by Clara's theorem, kung matatandaan yun, di ba, we had this parang partial derivative na twice and then, napaproduce natin same result. So, ganto lang, yung, ganto lang din yung concept ng integration. Ka, kapag tinake mo double integral na to and then from dy to dx or dx to dy, for as long as you're concerned with the same um, expression na, naman, Okay lang din yun. Makukuha mo rin yung the same answer. For number 2, let's have it here. So, for example, uh, meron tayong um, x, y, z plane, which of course, um, z output na yung given sa atin. So, we have x, and then y, and then z. So, yung ating y is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared. So, sabi sa atin, um, find the volume of the sector of a circle in the first quadrant bounded by y is equal to square root of... So, ito na yun. Um, first quadrant ng ating circle. So, example, we have square root of 25 minus x squared. The general equation will be y squared plus x squared is equal to 25, which is basically nasa 0, 0 yung center nyan, and then we have 5 units. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And basically, kung um, first quadrant lang yung kukunin natin dito. So, let's um, have it here. So, this is the positive and this is the positive. So, this is the first quadrant. So, this is your um, parang sectoral region natin. Okay? So, kung xy plane yan, ito yan. Yan. 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And this is your, let's label it, um, y is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared. Sabi natin, um, we have to determine yung um, sector of a, the volume of the sector of the first quadrant bounded by y is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared and then 3x minus 4y is equal to 0. So, kung 3x minus 4y is equal to 0, so ano ba yun? Uh, when x is equal to 0, we have um, y is equal to 0. So, dito yon And then, of course, yung kanyang slope, so we have y is equal to 3 fourth x. So, for every rise of 3, so 1, 2, 3, we have four units na run so one two three four so one one two three four and then one two three okay so basically this is the graph of that equation so let's have it na iba yung kulay so meron na tayong circle dito meron pa tayo ditong line okay and then y is equal to zero so yung y is equal to zero is this part here i sorry the x-axis itself. So, yun yung ating y is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 0. 3x minus 4y equals 0. And then, this is your y is equal to uh, square root of 25 minus x squared. And now that we're given with the general expression, we're in, yun yung ating agamitin for the volume. So, that's um, the integral of uh, the region from x dA. So, technically, itong x, that is your f, x, y. So, nagkataon lang na x lang siya. Okay. So, from this, we can generally or generalize that the volume would be something like the integral from the, that region to um, x, dx, dy. And since we're talking about the region bounded dito, so ito yun. Ano ba yung volume nito? So, starting from this one is the circle. So, let's say ito yung ating our uh, region of the circle we will be subtracting yung ating region of the um, line line and then from x dx dy then okay so upon substitution we have the volume that is ano ba yung ating so ihuli natin yung outer integral so ang gagamitin natin is unahin natin yung ating since this is y is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared so therefore it is a lot easier for us to um, integrate ito in terms of dx sa last so therefore yung last natin would be the values from x so that is 0 to 5 so this becomes 0 to 5 and then the integral naman natin so since nagamit na natin yung dx ano naman yung dy natin so the dy would be 0 to the function square root of 25 minus x squared. And then, syempre, kukapahin lang natin itong x dx dy. So, we have x dx dy. Okay? And then, um, finally, we have to subtract. So, minus the integral. So, ano ba yung last natin dito? So, uh, ganun na rin natin dx dy din. So, for, if it's x, it is 0 to 4. So, from 0 to 4. And then, ano ba yung ating line? based on the equation so i started with zero and then end up with uh, this 
uh, value which is in terms of um, x that is 3 fourths x so that is 3 fourths x and then x dx dy actually balikted ako x dy dx and then x dy dx okay so from this uh, we can now integrate so that is the uh, the volume would be the integral from 0 to 5 and then unahin natin tong first part so this is actually x y the integral from 0 to square root of 25 minus x squared and then um, dx okay so uh, minus the integral from 0 to 4 and then x y from 0 to 3 fourths x dx so basically ganyan yung mangyayari dyan so therefore for the first part we have um, simply naman that's x square root of 25 minus x squared then from 0 to 5 dx minus 0 to 4 that is x times 3 fourths x dx. So dito sa portion na to, inaalot ko na kayo mag-calculator. So from that, you will be getting um, the answer that's equal to 77 over 3 cubic units. Okay? So from this expression, so yun yung natin maging answer. So hopefully, ay uh, naintindihan nyo yung pag uh, hahanap nung limits especially dun sa, ano, sa, sa dy kasi yun lang naman yung nagpapakomplicate sa ating solution dito eh. So that's it for our double integrals, finding the volume using double integrals. So just uh, determine yung mga necessary limits and then subtract kung kailangan isubtract. And then um, sometimes hindi na natin kailangan isubtract yun. Uh, I mean, hindi natin kailangan paghiwalay yung limits after subtracting. Kasi sometimes, eh, di ba, nasubtract natin kasi uh, between two curves nga naman. No? Pero sometimes, same lang yung limits natin na gagamitin, especially when uh, we have... Ano, parang points of intersection. So, pwede naman yung ganun. Pero in this case kasi, since uh, we can see naman na uh, iba yung ating natatraverse na line, so we have to make sure na uh, we're using yung ating um, separate na pag, ano, pag find ng ating volume. So, paki-correct uh, na lang nito. That should be 77 over 3. That's 25 point something. So, now let's move on to the triple integral. Since uh, meron tayong double integral, so you have to expect na meron tayong triple integrals. So, huwag kayo magalala. Ito na yung pinakamataas na degree natin ng integration. Wala tayong uh, quadruple integral naman tayong ganun. So, anyway, uh, pag triple integrals, we're concerned with the volume of a certain, um, let's say, solid region. So, before kasi, pwede naman natin makuha yung volume kanina sa double integral, but uh, we have to rotate that certain area, di ba? For this case kasi, we start with a certain, parang single line or any parang uh, equation and then we try to uh, do triple integration so that we can determine the, the volume. So we can uh, generally say na meron lang tayong tatlong major properties. So if you have a constant multiplied to a function, you can actually move that constant outside the triple integral sign and then um, just perform your integration. Where you, when you have a difference between two functions, you can actually separate them individually and parang integrate mo siya, of course, given the same limits of integration. And then finally, if you have... Um, an integral expression a multiple integral triple integral you can actually partition them by having let's say kung halimbawa dalawang parts yun so you can have a two parts yun. para lang siyang ano yung ating mga volume before na kung hindi kaya ng isang volume lang so you can have two of them now uh, like the double integral so the order is not actually necessary basta kailangan lahat may incorporate and then you have the correct limits so you can have dx dy dz dy dx dz dz dx dy so ito you have six combinations and uh, should have the same results kung i-compute natin isa isa lahat yan no and this is, uh, ito yung para nagpapakomplicate lagi kasi paano pag iba yung order mo. So, syempre, dapat you have uh, different limits pero that should yield the same results for the volume. Okay, so let's have the, uh, let's evaluate a triple integral here. So, simple lang naman ang pag-evaluate ng triple integral, just a perform normal um, integration starting from the innermost part. So, for example, ito. Start with the innermost part by setting the rest of the variable as constant. So, let's do the first one. So, for this case, for uh, dy, that means our uh, ating variable is y. So, let's uh, have x and z as constants. So, we have x and then y squared over 2 plus a y e raised to negative z. And that's it for the first um, answer. The limit should be 0 to z. Okay. And uh, from this, uh, we can now perform 
yung ating next process. So, x2, 3x, and then dz. Okay. So, from this, ano ba yung ating um, answer? So, we can substitute yung ating mga values sa y with z. So, x, z squared over 2 plus z is negative 2. Okay. And then, um, 0 na yun sa isa. And then, we can perform the next operation here. So, dz na tayo. Evaluated from x to 3x. So, therefore, this one is um, in z. So, x, z cubed over 2 plus uh, this one is actually um, e to the negative z to so uh, you have to perform dito yung ating um, integration by parts so if you have z so du would be dz um, e raised to negative z negative e raised to negative z so therefore we have negative z e raised to negative z um, plus or minus e raised to negative z. Ito pala magiging over 6 na to. Okay, and then you integrate naman lastly to x and then x, 3x, dx. Okay, so yun lang yun. And then uh, just perform the integration. So kung mapansin nyo, ito yung ating integration. And then dito lang sa part na to, nagkaroon tayo ng um, ito yung sinasabi natin na non-elementary integral. So e raised to negative 3x. So bakit ba hindi pwede to? Kasi this is negative e raised to negative 3 raised to x dx. So remember, this is already yung ating uh, naka-raise na exponent. So if you try to let u equal to negative 3 raised to x, so du would be equal to negative 3x ln of 3. So therefore, if you want to rewrite this in terms of u, we'll be having um, negative e raised to u. And then yung ating dx uh, would be equal to something like du over um, negative uh, negative ln 3 kasi this should be uh, divided by 3x so yung 3x naman is actually uh, u din yan so parang ganon okay so from that yung ating expression na e raised to u over u du is nasunod na siya so we can use ei of negative 3 raised to x ln of 3 yung ln of 3 galing siya sa derivative ng ating negative 3 raised to x okay so ganon lang ang paggamit niyan and then just uh, evaluate so, the answer should be negative 3.5827. And then, um, let's try doing this one. So, if, for example, we're given with the mass um, of a body uh, using the uh, triple integral. So, that is, uh, sabi ko nga, we have a volume. So, if you multiply that volume by the density, so you'll be getting the mass. So, this is the expression of the uh, triple integral. We have to calculate the mass of the body. So, we just have to, ano? To substitute the expression of our density, that's x plus y z. So, ganun lang siya simple. The integral from 1 to 2, and then y squared, 1 over y, x 2y, and then x plus y z. So, ano ba yung magiging order natin dito? So, you can actually have uh, dx, dy, dz, so anything. Pero, ganito yung ating checking. So, you have to make sure na yung variable na nandito, nag exist should not... Uh, be existing on your differentiating variable. For example, meron ditong y at x. So, therefore, this is only applicable for z. Okay? So, yun, dz. And then, um, yung sunod natin is, since meron na ditong y, so, hindi dapat siya y kasi uh, y yun na ditong limits. So, you have to remember na that is dx and then lastly, you will be using dy. So, itong order na to, pwede yung mabago, pero when it comes to any expression na meron ng certain limits na nakalagay, you have to make sure na you're, ano, you're adhering with the rules na kapag meron kang limits dito sa first integration natin, basta dapat yung limits na or variables na nandyan, dapat hindi siya kagaya nung yung differentiating variable. So, I hope, I hope malino yun. Kasi mamamali tayo ng, ano, ng expression pag ganon. So, from this, uh, kaya sometimes nare-restrict lang tayo sa tamang, sa isang tamang order. Pero sometimes, kung hindi naman talaga siya sobrang maraming restrictions, so, pwede tayo magkaroon ng iba't ibang order. Anyway, so, we can integrate this. So, let's have muna yung simple integration. So, we have uh, xz plus yz squared over 2 evaluated from x to 2y. So, we have x times 2y plus y times 2y squared over 2 minus x squared minus um, x squared y over 2. So basically, ito yun. And then, we have 2xy plus we can have, I think that is 2y cubed. Okay. And then, minus x squared minus x squared y over 2. Okay. And then, now we can now proceed with the integration 
of I sorry. You can now proceed with the integration to the next um, higher order. So uh, with this, the integral from y squared to 1 over y, and remember this is in terms of dx. So yun, ganun lang siya, x squared uh, y plus 2xy cubed minus x cubed over 3, and then minus x cubed y over 6, evaluated from y squared and then 1 over y. So you just continue this and then you should be uh, getting the result and, and the end. So ito, um, let's integrate na lang siguro. So we have, um, or substitute. So we have x or 1 over y. So we have 1 over y squared y plus 2 times 1 over y, y cubed minus 1 over y cubed over 3, and then minus uh, 1 over y cubed y over 6, and then squared, so minus y squared squared y minus 2 times y squared y cubed minus y squared cubed over 3. So actually, uh, that should be plus, and then plus um, y squared cubed y over 6. So basically, kung mapansin nyo, sa last term na natin, puro na tayo naka y. So technically, um, dapat y na yan kasi hahanap tayo ng final answer in this case kasi it's from 1 to 2 yan. So upon integration nito, so you will be integrating this in terms of dy, lahat yan. And then hopefully, ma-solve nyo na yan kasi yan naman is lahat is polynomial function lang. So wala tayong um, mahirap dyan na case. From this, uh, you would be getting a value that is equal to yan. So, habayan. And then, the answer is 21.0360 mass units. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Uh, just follow the, um, from the innermost to the outermost parts. And then, uh, just follow the integration procedures and you'll be getting the results. So, wala na tayo dito yung parang, uh, hopefully, wala na dito yung parang kagaya nung kanina na determine tayo nung instead of, um, having yung equation na given na uh, we're trying to determine yung equation based on the graph. So, hopefully, wala na tayong ganun dito. Kasi meron na tayo ditong um, change of variables or polar coordinates sa discussion. So, um, ano ba yung um, ginagawa dito sa change of variables? And I think uh, we're... Um, pailan na ba to? So, nasa kalahati na tayo ng discussion. So, let's talk about the vector analysis muna. So, technically, meron tayong arc length. Again, ito yung arc length natin. Pero, if you want to parameterize that arc length, you can have this equation. So, instead of having yung parang, di ba before we have this something like 1 plus f prime of x squared, parang ganyan, square root, and this is your s. So, di ba, uh, meron tayong ganyan before na expression. So, if you have, let's say, your, your f of x is expressed in terms of, let's say, f of t. So, yung f of y mo is expressed also in terms of f of t. So, uh, you can have uh, the derivative as dx over dt and then dy over dt. That's why if you want to uh, find the expression for your arc length, that becomes this expression. S is equal to the integral from a to b dx over dt squared plus dy over dt squared dt. Which, of course, kung, um, instead of using f of x, you'll be getting yung f of uh, x in terms of f of t and then f of y in terms of f of t, which is going natin ng g of t. So, ito yung expression natin na bago, unlike before, na meron lang tayong f of x. So, yun lang yun. That's the concept of our arc length turned into a parametric equation. So, yung line integrals, kung um, di kayo aware, ito yung parang line integral. So, meron tayong x, y, and z, and then what if nagawa ka ng certain line doon, di ba? So, this this is a line, so or a curve, along those uh, x, y, z plane. So, kung ano mang area under this line, so, so hopefully na-imagine yung area under nyo, no? So, medyo, ano pa natin, ipantay natin dito. Yan. So, kung ano man yung area under that, kasi di ba, um, if it's a line, and then we're taking the integral of that, so technically you should be getting area. So, we're concerned with this area under this line. And we call that the line integral. Sabi dito, the formula for the line integral is simply this one. If you have the derivative of the um, arc length, just take 
the integral of that the derivative of the arc length of f of x y and then from t is equal to a and then t is equal to b so yung t is equal to a and then t is equal to b syempre yun yung um, limits of integration natin na nakikita natin based sa problem kung saan ba siya sila tumigil no so paano yung ano yung ds eh sometimes it's uh ano with respect or in terms of t so, syempre, pag ganun, edi kailangan natin siyang hanapan ng in terms of x and y kung naka-given is parametric equation. Pero kung di naman, hindi naman siya parametrized na x and y na lang. So, mas madali, ba? So, that's it for the idea of the line integral. That just, that's just the area on a certain curve. So, kung nabawa, yan, ganito, since nga hindi siya naka-parametrized. So, you have to make sure na it is in terms of x or y or you can make the x, y term in terms of t. So, mas madali, usually, lagi natin is in terms of t. Kasi, uh, yung ating arc length, since parametrized siya, so in terms of t na siya, and then yung ating function na lang, is gagawin na natin siyang in terms of t. Meaning, yung ating function na gumagalaw doon is paparametrized na lang natin. Wherein, yung ating t would be given as a and b. So, kukunin natin ngayon yung values of our t based on the parametrized equation. So, yun. So, if our curve... So, ito yung ating function. is given in terms of the vector notation natin. That's R of t, parametrized vector notation. So, we have x of t, y of t, and then z of t, k. So, uh, makakakita kayo na equation ngayon na merong i, j, k. So, we call that uh, a vector equation. So, pag sinabi natin kasi na scalar equation, so wala tayong i, j, k din sa ating equation. So, ilang naman yung ano dun, uh, madaling tandaan. So, I will not be... Um, digging much into this um, discussion kasi same lang sila ng concept. Whenever you have a parameterized equation and you want to determine kung ano man area under doon, just uh, multiply kung ano man yung concerned variable sa atin and then just integrate. So hopefully, mas magayon siya pag nag-solve na tayo ng example. So we can perform yung ating uh, line integrals based on FDR, this expression, or we can uh, do line integrals in differential forms. So we can have this differential form f of dr that's simply the integral of the certain curve for m dx plus n dy. This is of course kapag ka naka dx and dy. Sabi ko nga, pwede tayo mag-solve in terms of parametrized equation t or in terms of dx and dy. So any kind of expression is, it's up to you kung ano mas madali sa inyo. Pero we'll try to do the rest kung ano man yung ano, yung man yung possible. So this is the extension if it's on the 3D plane. So, pasensya na, medyo inaano ko, ina-overview ko lang lahat ng mga formula. Kasi, pare-press naman yun actually. Depende lang sa given mismo sa problem natin. Okay, so I think uh, yun na yung lahat ng mga equations natin. So, let's try solving for the first problem. 